Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So if you're using Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, this video is a must watch. So I'll be showing you seven powerful hidden features that can improve your privacy, customize your phone, and even make your daily task more fun. And don't worry, most of these features also work on other Galaxy phones like S24 series, S23, and even older models with One UI 7.0. So let's begin. So the first feature is where you can make your navigation bar more visible on the home screen. So on some wallpapers, the navigation bar might blend in, making it harder to use. So Samsung allows you to customize the navigation bar style and layout, so it stands out and fits your preference. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, we're gonna go ahead and open up the Navstar module. So go ahead and scroll down, find Navstar. From here, turn this feature on. And now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and tap on swipe gesture. So you're on swipe gesture. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find gesture handle. So here you wanna go ahead and play around with the gesture handle width. So you can go ahead and make it short or you can go ahead and make it wide. Now you can go ahead and play around with the transparency. So if you want more transparent or you want a solid color. So if you wanna see much better, then you wanna go ahead and move it to the right hand side. Next, you wanna go ahead and choose your color. So you can go ahead and choose a color which is matching your wallpaper. Now, once that's done, press home. And now when you look at your navigation bar here, the gesture bar, you'll see that it's been customized to your liking. So this improves your visibility, accessibility, especially if you have visual impairments or you prefer more of a personalized layout where it's matching your wallpaper. The second feature is where you can hide apps without deleting them. So do you want to keep certain apps private without uninstalling them? So Samsung's One UI lets you hide apps from your app drawer and your home screen without affecting how they function. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and long press on the home screen, tap on settings. Now you want to go ahead and scroll down and find the setting where it says hide apps on home screen and app screen. Tap on this. Now you want to go ahead and find the app. So say for example, I want to hide the gallery app. So I don't want anyone looking into my pictures. So go ahead and find the gallery, then tap on done. Now go back. Now, as you can see, gallery was here. However, it has now disappeared. If you go in the app library and search for gallery, you won't find it there as well. So this is great for privacy, reducing clutter and keeps sensitive apps away from prying eyes. So it's perfect for work, finance or messaging apps. So if you want to go ahead and access the gallery app for yourself, you can go ahead and long press on the home screen, tap on settings, scroll down and find hide apps on home screen and app screen. Go ahead and take this out of the hidden section, press done, press home. Now, when you go ahead and search for gallery, you should be able to access it there. The third feature is where you can password protect any app. So even if your phone is unlocked, you can still lock individual apps using the Samsung secure folder. So let me show you how to configure this. So here we'll go ahead and open up settings. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find security and privacy. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down again and find more security settings. From here, find secure folder, tap on that. Now here you need to go ahead and first set a fingerprint pattern or pin, so the lock type. So right now I've just chosen a pattern. So we'll go ahead and leave that as it is. Now next you wanna go ahead and make sure you auto lock your secure folder. And then you wanna go ahead and make sure you add the secure folder to your app screen. Now, once that's done, go ahead and open up secure folder. This will ask you for your pattern. So go ahead and enter it. And then now you can go ahead and add any apps from the Play Store or from the Galaxy Store or from your installed apps. So let's just say, for example, you want to add the booking.com app. So here we'll go ahead and add this app, tap and add and now booking.com has been added. So now you can go ahead and press home. And now when you wanna access that secure folder, open secure folder, go ahead and enter in your pattern, then go ahead and open up booking.com. Now, as you can see, it's asking you to log in. So go ahead and log in to this version of your booking.com. And from your normal app drawer, you wanna go ahead and log out from that booking.com app. So basically you can move apps like WhatsApp, Gallery or Notes into secure folder and make sure they're logged off from the normal One UI 7.0 interface. 
So this basically adds a second layer of protection, which is perfect for protecting personal data, financial apps, or work files. So this is really great if you ever hand your phone over to someone else. So they will be unable to access your secure folder without a pin number or a pattern. So if you enjoyed the video so far, please hit that like button, drop a comment telling me your favorite feature and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So your support truly motivates me to keep making helpful content like this and really helps the channel grow. So let's keep going. The fourth feature is where you can set a dancing background for your alarm. So waking up doesn't have to be boring now. So with certain alarm apps, you can basically set custom dancing background like the one that you see on screen. So you can basically set animated videos or dancing characters as your alarm background. So let me show you how to set this animated dancing background for your alarm. So first go ahead and tap on clocks. Now here you want to go ahead and tap on the plus sign to create an alarm. So we'll go ahead and set a time for 5.37 p.m. Now next you want to go ahead and tap on save. Go ahead and configure this. So give it a name, alarm sound, vibrations, news. And if you scroll down, you'll see this alarm background. Go ahead and tap on this. Now from here, you want to go ahead and set your alarm background. So you can go ahead and choose a dancing background like this. Or you can go ahead and choose from all of these available featured ones. Or you can go ahead and choose your own video as well. So if you go ahead and choose this, you can press done, you press done, and then press save. So now once that's done at 537, your alarm will ring with that dancing background. So this basically adds a fun and a motivating start to your day. So instead of harsh tone, you'll wake up with a smile thanks to the visual and the musical alarm on your Samsung Galaxy device. The fifth feature is where you can set a different profile image for a contact. So do you want to add a personal touch to your contacts? So Samsung allows you to assign a unique photo or an image to each person in your contact list. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up the phone app. Here you want to go ahead and open up the contact which you want to edit. So for example, this one here. Now go ahead and tap on edit and then go ahead and tap on edit profile card. Now from here you can go ahead and choose change image and you can go ahead and choose a different image. Or you can go ahead and choose Portrait Studio and use AI to create comic 3D watercolor or sketch of it. You can even add effects on it and you can go ahead and add some text to it as well. So when you go ahead and press preview, so this is how it's going to show up when the person rings you. So if you have a Galaxy S25 Ultra, this is how it will show up. If you have a fold, this is how it will show up. Now once that's done, press done and now press save. So this basically makes it easy to identify callers quickly. It adds a personalized, fun touch to your communication. It's great for friends, family, or distinguishing work contacts. The sixth feature is where you can set a custom ringtone for a specific contact. So you can go beyond just visuals. You can basically assign custom ringtones to specific contacts so you know who's calling without even looking at your phone. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up the call app. We'll go ahead and tap on search and we'll go ahead and search for the following person. So say for example, this person here, we'll go ahead and tap on this and we'll go ahead and tap on the eye. And then now you wanna go ahead and tap on more. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and tap on change ringtone and vibration. Go ahead and choose ringtone. And now you can go ahead and choose a custom ringtone for this person. So let's just say warm up. So now this person has been assigned a specific ringtone, warm up. So when he or she calls, my phone, this specific ringtone will ring for this person. So this helps you with instant call identification, even when the phone is across a room or in your pocket. It's also handy for separating personal and work related calls. So feature number seven is where you can move the app button to another location. So as you know, when you try to move your app button here, it doesn't move and it basically stays here. The only way to remove this is to long press on it and remove it. So if you don't like the placement of your app drawer button, so with Samsung's Good Lock app, you can basically rearrange or even remove the app drawer icon from this dock bar. So let me show you how to do this. So here, first go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and open up the Home Up module. In the Home Up module, tap on Home Screen. In the Home Screen module, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find Move App button. Go ahead and turn this feature on. So this will allow you to freely move the apps button to move to the home screen and fold areas in addition to your favorite area. So here we'll go ahead and tap home. Now we can go ahead and move this anywhere you like. 
So as you can see, it's now free and we can go ahead and place it anywhere we like. And as you can see, I've placed it on the second page. So this gives you more control over your layout ergonomics, and this is especially helpful if you want a faster access or prefer gesture only navigation. And that wraps up our list of awesome hidden features for the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Again, most of these tips work just as well on other Galaxy phones too. So if you learned something new, smash the like button, leave a comment with your favorite trick, and don't forget to subscribe for more Samsung tips and tutorials like this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.